the day that the Lord hath made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Let us give God some praise today, because He's worthy to be praised. Amen. We just come to bless the Lord for all that He's already done and everything that He's going to do. I'm so excited. Amen. I pray that you are excited. Amen. Because God is doing a new thing in your life. I know you feel the atmosphere. Everything is moving by the power of God. The atmosphere is shifting. He's shifting the atmosphere. He's moving things around for you. And God is already, amen, ahead of you. And this storm that you're trying to weather, amen, baby, it's almost over. Amen. Coming to you this morning with the mighty word from the Lord. Amen. From Jeremiah chapter 18. Going to read the word now. The word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Verse 2. Arise and go down to the potter's house. And there I will cause you to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he was working on the wheel. And the vessel that was that he was making from clay was spoiled. Oh, rotten, messy, just no good to deal with in the hands of the potter. So he made it over, reworking it into another vessel as it seemed good to the potter to make it. Then the word of the Lord came to me. O oh, house of Israel, can I not do with you as this potter does, says the Lord. Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hands, so are you in my hands, O oh, house of Israel. Amen. I come to bring this word to you today. Amen. That the potter is still making you. The potter is still making you. Amen. He's still getting those in, in, imperfections out of you. He's still, amen, coming and cleansing and detoxing you. Amen. Here we see Jeremiah, amen, in a vision. Uh, where the Lord has called him down to the potter's house to see an example of what he wants to do to the church. Amen. God wants to remake us. Amen. He says that the, that the potter, amen, was making a, a, a clay, a pot on the wheel. Amen. But he looked at that thing. And he said, hey, something is, something is just not right. Amen. And something don't smell right. Hey, something is not fitting right. Hey. He began to evaluate the substance. Amen. That was in his hand. Amen. I hear the Lord say that El Cobo Sheko this morning that he's evaluating the substance that's in his hand and he wants to make something amen that will not be crumbled in this season he wants to make something good God Almighty that will not be destroyed in this season he wants to go back and crush you some of you are going through your crushing time some of you are going through amen your pruning time some of you are going through your purging and God is saying I'm trying to make a vessel that I can use in this hour amen I want to tell you this this morning he said it seemed good but it wasn't good so the potter he crushed it back up put it back on the wheel and begin to work it again amen I come to tell you amen that the potter is still making you I come to encourage you this morning let him put you back on the wheel don't 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 act like amen you got it all together because you don't he wants to crush you one more time he wants to put you through the fire one more time some of you are going through your trials and tribulation it's a crushing for God to get something out of you amen but let the potter put you back on the wheel because he's still making you and he wants to make the best vessel for this hour. I come to tell you people of God there's a mighty move of God and in this hour amen those that are ready and those that are allowing God to deal with your issues you will be able to go forward in this hour. Amen. He, he worked that thing on the wheel. Let him work you on the wheel. Let him just take it out of you. I know it hurts. I know it's embarrassing. I know it's a shameful thing. Amen. But guess what? We are none perfect. Amen. So God has to come in and do what he needs to do in these vessels. Amen. I'll allow him to do it today. The potter is still making you. God bless you. I love you with the love of the Lord. Amen. And know that the joy of the Lord is my strength. Let him work you, baby. Go on through the process so that you will come out. Amen. To go forward. In Jesus' name. God bless you.